Welcome to the FuseNet How-To Series. This video is about accessing information about the data sources and usage requirements for data series in the FuseNet Data Explorer. I'm Zoe Wingate, the FuseNet Documentation Specialist. In this video, you'll learn to view information about data source documents and source organizations, and to access data usage policies and usage notes. We'll use the prices domain as our example because it will show us a few different places where the data source and data usage policy information can be found. My last search for Kenya Maze was retained, so I'll keep that there. I could further filter my results using the data source document options here. So if I type in Kenya, maybe I want to choose the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, and that would filter my results down to 10 here. Let's take that filter off for the moment and go look at the info column that's over to the right hand side. Now, if I hover over the information icon here, I can see the source document name and the data usage policy. So I might scroll through and look at this for some different data series. And you'll see we have a couple of different source documents showing up in these results. Now I'm going to build my data set. I'm going to choose just a couple of data series here and I can also see them here on the selected tab and notice that they have different source documents. Now I'm going to scroll down and check out our table. And we see a section here about the data source documents. And if we scroll down, we'll get to our values. Uh, now I'll go over to the metadata tab and in the document section here, we have the organization name, the source document name, the data usage policy, as well as usage notes. So for both data series, the usage policy is public and users are required to acknowledge the original source. So now over to the customize and download options, we actually have a usage requirements drawer over here. And when I open that, I see the two different source documents with the usage requirement attached. And now when I go to download the information, I'll also see that there are fields for the source document and the data usage policy there as well. You can also learn more about our data and information use and attribution policy on the FuseNet knowledge base, which is linked in the description below. And you can also go to help.fuse.net and use the search box to bring up the data and information use and attribution policy page. Thanks for watching. For more information about the Data Explorer, go to help.fuse.net/fde. And don't forget to subscribe to the FuseNet channel for more how-tos.